Hi everyone, it's 3.50 a.m. here. Good morning to everyone. Um, this video, idea of creating is this video uh, responds to the queries flooded to my inbox referred to my previous upload on uh, Dialects Evo walkthrough. Let's see. Here it goes. I used uh, three important points uh, in the whole process. Uh, the first uh, thing is hotkeys, hotkeys of Dialex Evo, and uh, the, uh, I'm, I'm utilizing two different softwares for uh, recording the whole process and uh, video editing softwares. M many video editing softwares available open source, and some of them are paid. Um, I have I used uh, Flamora kind of software you can use many many other softwares available in the, available in the market you can use any one of them uh, so let's see how the hard keys has been uh, utilized and uh, how the whole process were taken over yeah here is the finished product um, the modeling was done uh, with the dialect Sevo itself I have done many projects uh, which were which uh, modeling was developed in 3ds max and imported into the dialects but uh, for this kind of structure to avoid the calculation processing time um, to reduce the time processing time I developed a complete model with dialects Evo um, I eliminated the unwanted model which is not visible uh, so the just to develop show the client about the lighting scheme uh, here for the windows it's not windows uh, for the windows I used uh, cell window lighter this is the product window versus lighter from cell Germany I use the RGB version of this and for the roof canopy the roof canopy highlight I used LED modeler from Hofmeister this, this is a product there are many lens available I use the 961 mm um, 961 mm elliptical beam distribution and for the ground floor level pillars I use the smaller version of this one 361 mm it's beautifully grazed the wall upside down so Let's see how the walkthrough. Okay, first, uh, as I explained before, uh, I use three different uh, three uh, different strategy. One is uh, utilizing the hot keys of Dialex Evo. Um, let's see how the hot keys works. Uh, so first. Uh, uh, to move around, move around is the first uh, idea. To move around. I use the hard keys W, A, S, and D. If you click press on W, based on the axis where the, where you pan the uh, 3D view, it'll move in like that, just like that. And uh, if you want to zoom out, press S. It's zooming out. And uh, to pan it right, D. And pan to the left, A. Press A. So this more smooth uh, panning and moving in and moving out is being recorded with the screen recorder. Uh, many screen recorder softwares are available. I used one of them. So by using this screen recorder, I record the various recordings, uh, uh, recordings of uh, moving in and panning right to left. Uh, of course, there are many failures. 
I have done uh, around uh, 15 to 20 uh, recordings and out of that I picked two uh, to get the final editing for the uh, the final video okay yeah this is one example for failed attempt uh, I try to make a zoom in and uh, panning in out in and out but it didn't came out well you see that the, the transition is not so smooth so I cannot utilize this capture so I just have to drop it off then uh, this is the second second trial and it came out very well I took this one this this transition um, rough transition has been removed in the final video if you see that this is smooth again I'm pressing G moving right and I have to stop and move this and smooth transition has been clipped off and again moving right What I did show the luminar location according to the place of how the luminar looks in the actual field. Uh, with the, along with the specification I given in the caption. So I compiled all these snaps together uh, and edited in a video editing software to develop the smooth walkthrough. And the second part of the video what I did was color changing effect. The, the color changing effect uh, actually is not possible with the uh, EVO software, we know that. So I used Adobe, Adobe tools to get it done. So this is it. Uh, and your comments are highly valuable to me. Drop your comments and uh, subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.